What's up guys? I uh, haven't really even thought of what I'm going to say on this video. kind of had some last minute time tonight where I'm going to try to pick up some stuff in the garage, which I'll probably do a real high speed montage of me just moving a bunch of stuff around. But uh, the plan for tonight is I think I'm going to try to get the Cummins set on a pallet and make something to kind of hold it in place. And depending on how much time that takes, I may try to start the thing here in my garage just sitting on a pallet. Um, I may not have enough time. It's already pretty late. I have work tomorrow um, So like usual, I don't have a lot of time to get stuff done But I think I'm gonna take a shot at trying to build a stand where I can start the Cummins on a pallet um, But first I need to move some stuff around the garage uh, so That's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing just kind of a high-speed montage me moving stuff around the garage and building some kind of Engine stand that I could start this thing on I put it on my engine stand that you know is meant to hold engines but the problem is is i can't put the plate that holds the starter on on the stand and start it so i need to just set it on a pallet or something that will hold it still so i can start it so that's what i'm going to be doing um enjoy the video Alright guys, I think I've gone as far as I'm probably going to be able to go tonight. Um, I need to do some research on my return line and my fuel line. I still don't really know much about Cummins. I know you need one wire to the 
fuel pump itself to signal that hey the engine wants to run and then pretty much a starter to start it and then lines into a tank of diesel um, I do need to research a little bit more and I'll show you over here what I got going on um, this is my my kind of temporary engine run stand over here uh, pull these wires off real quick um, basically I just rigged it up uh, I drilled some boards down to this pallet under the motor mounts that way it can't really shake side to side and then I will support it using the, uh, the engine hoist just to make sure it doesn't really go anywhere but all in all it's pretty stable where it's at I was able to turn the starter over and hear it actually kind of fire over and make compression um, now I just need to like I said, just figure out what it takes to get this thing fired up. Um, that way I can try to test run it on the floor and then decide, you know, what am I going to do with it? I need to start ordering parts for it, uh, clean it up, uh, just, you know, kind of simplify it. Once I get it running, I don't know if I'm going to go too deep into it or if I'm just going to toss it into the truck the way it is and drive it for a while. Just figure out all the engine mounts and transmission mounts and just kind of get everything in there and figured out and then I'll go back and pull it all out in the future clean it up put new parts on it and modify it that way all I have to do is bolt it back into the truck once it's ready to go so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to go about that yet but right now I mean I'm I'm pretty much set up to try test fire it uh, I tried a couple times just turning it over uh, I haven't quite figured out the fuel pump situation yet. Like I said, I haven't done a lot of research on this and most everything out there is for the second gen fuel pump and not the first gen fuel pump. So I, I'm going to do some research this week and hopefully the next video I do will be us test firing the engine, make sure it has no blow by, hopefully it doesn't. And if this thing runs, I may start trying to look at what it's going to take to bring the truck back and just start mounting this thing in the truck. Uh, camera's about to die, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video. It's going to be a short one, which is good because all my videos drag on with a bunch of talking. So uh, I appreciate y'all guys watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, share the videos if you could so I can try to get the channel more popular. And hopefully coming up soon, things will start getting interesting. If this thing runs, I'm, I'm probably mostly going to push towards just trying to get it in the truck and make it a driving truck. That way I can... I think it will help motivate me to keep pushing and making this better. Plus, I'd really like to get this thing running for Lone Star Throwdown, but uh, that's neither here nor there. But again, I appreciate y'all watching the videos. Like and subscribe. Um, and y'all guys have a good night.